Well, we're talking about uh, the Blueface joint today. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about Blueface and Funny Marco. You know, there's a lot of people that they don't really think Funny Marco's funny. I think he's funny. You know, because he's not like raw funny. He's like, you know, that, that dry funny that we, we understand because you have to have a form of intelligence to find it funny in the first place. Y'all, we gonna we're definitely gonna get to that. You know, let's let's just get to it, man. Let's get to it. So here's the interview, right? Okay. So why can't you rap on beat? I ain't gonna. He threw him off with that. Yo, can y'all imagine somebody like you? You are entertainer. You go on, on an interview, and the interview was like, yo, you know, why can't you rap on beat? But there's a lot of rappers that used to do that. And I used to be like, how y'all understand these dudes? I can say you are talented and you're good at a lot of things. Yeah, what do you yeah. say? So why can't you rap on beat? <laughs> Yo, this is funny. Look, look, he can't even answer that. He's like. <laughs> Sonny Blocko said, Sadat, master of the offbeat flow, not the one, the two, but the three and five. Yeah, man. Like, I'm going to keep it real. See, I didn't. I wasn't really too, you know, I, I, I was younger too at the time. So whenever I heard a rapper do that, like now I understand because, certain, you know, certain rappers are, are, they can do that crazy. Like, you know, uh, Andre 3000 is one of those dudes that, that can do that, like effortlessly and it sounds good. But for me, you know, particularly with Sadat, it was like, you know, eh. I guess I I'm, I guess I'll go back and listen to it. Maybe I'll appreciate it more. With, with that being said, you said the three and the five. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go listen to some old Sadat X later on. But Andre three thousand, mine. Andre three thousand, mine. Even though he did the flute album, which, by the way, outsold every rap album. <laughs> Yo. How you come back with a flute album that outsells all the rappers, yo? That's crazy. That was crazy. Yo, he killed him with a flute. Facts. Came back with the flute. Crazy. And I'm going to keep it real. Now, jumping back to Funny Marco, right? He's funny. Like, people, they like, oh, he's not funny. He, he is the way that he asks the question. He, he keeps a serious face. Like, yo, it's like watching, you know, uh, that dude from Dateline and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? 2020 or something. Look at this. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes, Chico. Yo, you heard, yo, Blanco. Remember that shit? Dave Chappelle's a goat. Period. <laughs> I can say you are talented and you're good at a lot of things. Yeah, what do yeah. you say? So why can't you rap on beat? He can't even answer. He's like, why can't you rap on beat? That's funny. What song do you think I'm on beat? And then he came back with the counter right here. A lot of them. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, how's that not funny? He's serious. Yo, it's just his comedic time and like he can do the seriousness and make the serious funny. You know what I mean? Look. What song do you think I'm off you? You said all of them? A lot of them. A lot of them, yo. You don't even know none of my songs. Yo. And then you have to have like a quick wit. In order to be like a comedian or, or, or entertainer, anything like that. Wait for y'all to come back from commercial with that because I just saw it, it popped up. In order to be an entertainer, a comedian, anything like that, especially improv because this is improvisation 
they're not reshooting this. This is basically a one take Jake, you know, event. In order for him to like land these, you know, these skits, he's doing this on the fly. Like this is this is this is great comedic work here. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta learn to appreciate. He's one of them dudes that people will appreciate late, a lot later more. You don't even know none of my songs. Ain't three blue face songs right now, Marco. And three <laughs> blue face songs. He sent him. He sent. He set his own self up with that though. Name, yo, chat. Can y'all name without googling three blueface songs right now? We only know blueface because of the Chris Sean and and Jada Alexis chick and all that drama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the only reason why he's still viral after that bust down Tatiana track. That was his hit. My son said he had another one too, but I was like, I, I ain't never heard that one. Let me fix this because I already know. Nay, no, y'all can't name now. Nay, nay, one song. Nay, not a nay, nothing. I can't. Yo, Mel, what's good? See, React said he said, Buzz Down, Tatiana featuring Cardi. And Crown said, Ain't Blue Face or Crackhead? No songs, just heard he was smoking crack. Wow, I I ain't, I I ain't never heard of that, but I'll check it out. Makes me wonder how other rappers seem to have less money. He's not rapping. He, yeah, I don't understand, but I ain't hating. It is what it is, you know. They they figure out a way that being when you when you're an entertainer or social media influencer, you know, an artist, you you have alternate. You know ways of getting to the bag it's not just a rapping thing sometimes it's events you know you know hosting gigs you know what i'm saying you you might you know do a and r work stuff like that get paid for certain artists things like that diamond said he owns a business okay so that makes sense you know bxml says he definitely went to the silk the shocker school of lyricism <laughs> yo huh? that's fucked up <laughs> That's fucked up, man. All right. He was over. Oh, he owns some wing spot, some chicken spot. Bust down Tatiana. Bust down Tatiana featuring Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Yo. He said, y'all ain't hear y'all y'all ain't hear what he did? Look what he said, look. Name three songs, look. Fucking interview is over. Uh, Bust down Tatiana. Bust down Tatiana featuring Cardi B. He tight right now. <laughs> Why are you mad? That's that actually counts as a second single. That's not the same song. It's a remix. So he's right. Don't ruin your I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. He, yo, he left, yo. <laughs> and and what he don't understand, like Blueface, I don't think he gets it. Maybe he does get he does get it. Him walking out of the interview does did not hurt funny Marco by any means. It made this shit funnier. It made it funnier. And you asked him to name the songs. You That's where you messed up right there. Yeah, he still got content out of it. That's it. Once you, once you, once you get the content, that's pretty much it. 